So, letter writing is a very old-fashioned form of communication, one which has been around for hundreds of years, but one which is also very useful. Basically, a personal letter is a discussion of one's personal life with a friend. So it's really interesting because you can really get the perspective of your character out because so much of the letter is your view and your opinion that you can really build an interesting character. A formal letter, however, is the exact opposite of that. It's of more varied reasons. You won't really know until you get into the exam what that letter is going to be asking you to do, but it could be something like convincing your point of view to a government official. So you could be asked to write an official letter to the mayor of your area to suggest that perhaps they should employ more environmentally practices. Things like that, which on the fly, you need to be able to adapt to. The way that you structure your letter is by providing your street address, the date, the details of the addressee, and making sure that you use paragraphs. Now, while these things might all seem quite obvious, and you've probably used these before when you're writing an actual letter, but it's amazing how many students forget to do this in the exam when they're carried away with the content, but not the structure. But it's so important that you use the structure because the structure is what shows that it's actually a letter and not just a short story which sounds a little bit like a letter and could maybe be a letter. You then must ask yourself, should you use one letter or more? So it's important that you use one letter if your character is the focus and you have a single purpose. However, you're going to be using a series of letters, so maybe two, three or four. If you're demonstrating a change over time, or relationship between characters. So if you're writing one letter, you might just have, say, Mary's perspective. But if you're writing two, you could have Mary's perspective and then John's answer to Mary's letter. So you're getting two different perspectives on that same issue and you're developing two different characters and two different personas. For example, while you're developing this persona, you might be asked to look at a stimulus and then provide a letter which that person can be um, realistically imagined to write. So, for example, if you got this man in the exam, first you examine the picture and you're really asking yourself who this person is in order to develop a piece of writing based on this person. So you're thinking about who this man is at a deeper level than just what he looks like. You're asking yourself, why does this man have a reason for writing a letter? You can do a bit of a brainstorm on your head or on the page and really just have a think about potential reasons. You can ask yourself, how does he talk? So what sort of language will he be using when he's writing the letter? You can ask yourself, what does he talk about? So what are the things he's going to mention? How much detail is he going to use? All of these different things which can make your persona go from ordinary to really interesting and realistic.